Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to my series on the Emacs Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2, featuring the Radiomaster TX16S. In an effort to make it easy for you to find all of the videos, just check the description below as all the videos are compiled into a playlist, and the description below contains the link to the playlist. Uh, in video one, we added the model and we got the sucker bound to an FR Sky D8 protocol. In video two, we did all the necessary stuff. We set up all our switches and everything like that, and we made the sucker ready to fly. And here, uh, from here on out, it's going to be all bonus material. Uh, in this video, we are going to take a look at adding voice cues to all those switches. All right, so this first one really should have been in the other video, but for those of you who are still here checking it out, you'll be the benefactors of the fact that I forgot it in the last video. All right, so what you're going to want to do is go to the setup menu and put your quad on a very flat surface, hit calibrate accelerometer, and then if it's facing the wrong way, you can reset the axis. And now what you want to do is you want to point your quad up and make sure that this image, make sure that this image is doing exactly what your quad is doing. I'm going to go ahead and pitch up and yaw and yaw and roll and roll. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but there, there's bottom side, bottom side. And as I go like that, point it forward and level, pitch up, pitch down. Okay, so that's kind of important. You absolutely positively want your quad in the image to react exactly as it's doing in real life, uh, or you're going to get unexpected results. All right, so here's something that you might want to do to your radio. Go ahead and click on the model button, and then I'm just going to go to inputs and I'm going to remember that arm is SF and mode is SG. We're going to go to the special function screen and uh, if you're still with me give yourself a pat on the back because we're starting to get beyond the basics here. All right so let's go ahead and select and then we're going to select that one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little stick that I want for armed and I'm going to throw it in the armed position like so. That's SF down. Now I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to look for play track, not play sound, but play track and boom. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to find one that says armed or how about arm? Let's say here when I, when I flip the switch, arm it says arm very clearly and distinctly. Arm All right. That's good. And then we get out of here. I'm gonna go to SF2, and I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the switch in the other direction, and I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say play track. Go to the next one and find disarm. Arm okay, very cool. What was my other switch? SG. Go here. I'm going to say SG. SG in the up position. My track. This is going to be angle. And if I play the track, very good. All right, so that is what I want them to look like. All right, so now imagine you're out there and you're flying and you're flying in and you start to get cute and you're like, hey, I am so ready for horizon mode. and you're flying in horizon mode and things are going good and then all of a sudden things are going really, really bad and you want to flip back to angle mode in a hurry and you accidentally, uh-oh, but without the voice cue, you don't know that you're in acro mode. You think you might be in angle mode, but you don't know what mode you're in. And before you know it, your tiny hawk crashes into a brick building and smashes into a million little pieces. Okay, so that's what these voice cues are really, really good for. So I'm going to throw it back into. Horizon mode, acro mode. All right. So likewise with the other switch, it's pretty good to know when you're motors, and when you're. Disarmed. Okay, those are the those are the, those are the most important voice cues I can think of. So where to get all these sounds? Well, I have them saved conveniently for you on my Dropbox. It is a bit.ly link. Bit.ly is just a link shortener. And you're welcome 
to visit the Dropbox and grab the sounds. Now, I understand that you don't know me from Adam, so if you're like, oh, hell no, I'm not downloading anything from him, I completely understand. I have a video in my TX16S radio series that will teach you how to go out on the internet and get your own sounds, okay? So you can do it that way too. You can make the radio say anything in the world that you want it to say. In addition to that, you can go to the OpenTX University and find the Amber Sounds. Those are fun. Much more information about the Amber Sounds in my TX16S series. All right, so did you have some fun? I know I did. It's always fun to do this stuff. I love I love doing this, but the only thing I love doing more than this is going out and flying. And that is exactly what I'm going to do with this cool setup that we just did with our Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2 and our Radio Master TX16S. I keep saying it like that, like I'm in a commercial or something, and I'm not in a commercial and I'm not endorsed by these guys. I don't get any of this stuff for free. I buy it just like you do. I do have links to this stuff in my description below. These are affiliate links, which means Amazon will pay me a tiny little itty bitty commission uh, if you decide to use my links when you purchase stuff. And it's the little income that I generate out of the affiliate links that enables me to buy products and do more videos for you. So if you use my links, I'd appreciate it. Hope you found benefit in the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you really like the video, do me a favor, go out and tell somebody. Share on social media. Go out, get a friend or relative, get them in the hobby because there's only one thing more fun than flying, and that's flying with a buddy. So anyhow, that's it for me. I'm Steve. Stay tuned for more videos because, man, there's going to be a lot of them. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.